In today's topic, we are observing Plateaus Types of plateaus There are three types of plateaus based on their mode of formation. These are tectonic, volcanic and dissected plateaus. Tectonic plateaus are formed as a result of earth movement which causes the uplift areas of the land or undulating land form tectonic plateaus in the depressed area from basins. Tectonic plateaus are of two types. Table land, the uplifted areas of the level of land slope down to surrounding lower land. Intermont, the uplifted area of the level land slopes up or is enclosed by fold mountains. Examples of Intermont plateaus, Tibetan plateau between Himalayas. Volcanic or lava plateaus are formed when molten lava comes out of the Earth's crust through a vent and spreads out in successive layers. The lava cools and solidifies to form volcanic or lava plateau. Examples include Antrim Plateau of Northern Ireland and Columbia Snake Plateau. Dissected plateaus is formed due to weathering and agents of denudation such as running water, wind, ice and so on which were large down large and extensive plateaus into remnant structure of irregular surfaces called dissected plateaus. They may include Jos Plateau, Nigeria, edges of Futa Jalan Plateau, Guinea, and Kumasi, Ghana. Advantages or uses of plateaus Some plateaus are sources of valuable minerals like tin, gold, diamond and more, which are useful to man. Some plateaus are centers of tourist attraction. Some plateaus are sources of many rivers. Some plateaus, like Shos Plateau have cold climate which encourages settlement of people. Plateaus also support the growth of pasture grasses and legumes which support rearing of animals. Disadvantages of plateaus Some plateaus are barriers to communication as they prevent road, railway and airport construction. Some plateaus are associated with erosion which tends to reduce or prevent serious farming activities.